Hey YouTube, ready for a fish room tour? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian and I'm coming at you this uh, month of, what is it, November with another fish room tour. And I um, thought I would start with a little bit of bonus reef footage. Um, I typically don't show my reef tanks on my, um, on my fish room tour videos. I kind of keep them separate, but I thought, what the heck, let's include every single tank. Well, I won't include the shrimp, but um, all the fish tanks in this tour. So we're starting upstairs with the reef tank. Um, so if you haven't watched my reef specific videos, you may not know, but this is a 125 gallon reef tank that I started working on in June of this past year. And it's starting to run pretty good. <clears throat> you know, I had some ups and downs along the way. I'm not gonna go through everything here cause I'll save that for the next reef update. But there has been some new livestock added since my last reef update. Um, the, the tank right now is not fully stocked as far as fish or corals go, but I've got three tangs, a chocolate tang, a naso tang, and a yellow tang. I've got this old cardinal, pajama cardinal that was in my uh, bio cube, and then two Wyoming white clownfish, so you can see them both there. Quite a variety of corals, um, Duncan leather, Monty's, another leather, um, trumpet, a torch that for some reason is not extended very well today. Neither is my other torch on the other side of the tank. Frog spawn, octo spawn, more trumpet, toxic green hammer that is not very extended, another torch, and then um, I got a rose tip, rose bubble tip anemone recently, and it's actually split already. You can see the other one down here under that frog spawn and then um, some green star polyps that I'm working on growing a nice mound over there. But that's kind of the gist of it for the 125 gallon. It sits up in my, I call it my TV room, kind of a living room type area on the lower level of our home. And it's over here next to the um, uh, bio cube. This is a 29 gallon Core Life bio cube, which I've had going now for a couple of years, two and a half. I've had a lot of ups and downs, which I've documented in my Coral Life BioCube playlist. Um, if you're into the saltwater thing, the reef thing, check out the Coral Life BioCube playlist as well as the 125 gallon reef build uh, playlist. But you know, um, green star polyps here, uh, octospawn, some uh, trumpet corals. Um, Duncan, um, some pallies and zoas back there, a leather up at top, a nice Monty uh, leather over there. Um, I've got two um, clownfish and a firefish as far as stock right now at the current time. Um, there should be uh, two peppermint shrimp in here, but I have not seen them since I got them a couple of months ago or a couple of weeks ago, so I'm not sure. Um, I had a bicolor pseudo that may have killed them. There's also a strawberry crab and a uh, <clears throat> pistol shrimp in here that may be culprits for killing shrimp too. I'm still trying to figure that out. Goby also, I uh, can't find them right now, but I've got a Wheeler's Goby in here that hangs out with the pistol shrimp. You can see some of their construction work right there. <clears throat> Yeah, that's it for the reefs. Let's go on to the normal fish tour at this point. Um, we'll just take you into the office here and start with Cheeto. <clears throat> this is my uh, Amphilopus citronellus, Midas cichlid. And I've recently done a little changing in this tank. Um, you'll remember from the last few videos that I got a couple of females from Matt Hand. <coughs> Excuse me, and <clears throat> I decided to take out the herd of clown loaches and move them downstairs to see if that would at all um, affect things as far as possible spawning behavior. And instantly, within a day, there's just been a ton of digging. There was a little bit before, 
as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, they've really worked on aquascaping this, uh, this tank. So I'm hoping it's just a matter of time, but you never know. Um, I'm okay if this guy never spawns with a female, but it would be a nice bonus for him to do that. So I'm trying to do what I can to make the situation, um, you know, best possible for that. 90 gallon planet over here. Uh, lights are out right now. There's nothing really to see. I still haven't re aquascaped that. <coughs> I hate that. Start filming a video and I feel like I have to cough all the time. So we'll head downstairs here. And the first thing, which is pretty cool, is Cheeto's brother and his lady finally decided to spawn. <coughs> you can see Fry all over the place. Wasn't a huge spawn, but there was a spawn nonetheless. Um, I didn't even really realize that it happened until I saw free swimmers. But um, I did notice her hanging out in the pot quite a bit, more than usual, for a couple of days. But I just didn't think anything of it because these guys have never, you know, shown any um, bonding or spawning activity. So. <clears throat> All of a sudden, a few days later, I come downstairs one morning and there's a little cloud around her and a bunch of wigglers still in the pot. So anyway, we've got some fry to try to grow out with this pair. Up above here is Colossus. <clears throat> Looking nice as ever. This is the Comfa, 9.9 .9 flower horn. <clears throat> Doing real well whole lot else to say about him I guess but uh, I always like to do this angle with him watch him come down he always bumps his nuchal hump too on the glass yeah he's doing real well over here I've got the Moda grow outs that I showed you last time that I got from James I switched the one Moda grow out see them down below right there I brought these guys upstairs because once after like the first two days of having them all they did was hide and I attributed it to them being down on floor level so um, now that I've got them back up here they become a lot more active um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a little Southern Delight marine mix so you can watch them eat they go nuts over this stuff look at that <clears throat> Southern Delight Marine Mix, uh, you might say Marine Mix, that sounds like it's for salt water. Well, that's what it's marketed towards, but it's actually a really good food um, for all types of fish. And it's a, it's a one millimeter pellet. Here, I got some in bulk right here. So it's real small, so smaller fish can easily eat it. So that's, it's, it's a real good food for growing out fish you know they uh, at this size right here they could almost start eating the small cichlid um, so I'll probably switch them over to that but um, yeah enough of my babbling about that <clears throat> I will quickly take you over since I got some of this food out and show you my Hadiensis grow outs so these are the bigger ones which I've gotten a 75 gallon they get spooked really easily, but I just put in some more of that marine mix and we'll see if that gets them out. Yep. There's between 10 and 15 in here, probably closer to 10, as they all start to congregate now. Getting the food, but <clears throat> these guys are getting close to being ready to sell. And I know I say all the time that I've got Hadiensis and I'm just waiting for them to get to a good size, but you know when you're shipping fish you got to make sure that they're big enough to survive and not get freaked out and die especially when you're talking hadiensis down below here are two more tanks of hates i'm gonna put in a little nano krill because these guys are smaller That. 
Over here are some umbies that I've got from my pair that I'll show you in a minute. <clears throat> Pretty small still. And then the dovi. Got a chunk of gel food in both of these tanks uh, that I made from some Southern Delight small cichlid. But anyway, um, <clears throat> we'll go over here and talk about the uh, Umbi pair. These are F1s. The male ma uh, Optimus is from Magnus and Beast. And then uh, his female is Matrix. They <clears throat> seem to be ready to spawn. Um, she's been looking like she's full of eggs and uh, this hasn't happened yet, but I'm sure it's going to soon. Not that I need any more Umbi grow-outs, but anyway, it's kind of fun to watch him spawn. He's looking awesome. Not even sure on his size, but he's getting to be big. <clears throat> Orion. <clears throat> Not much new to say about him and his female, other than that they did spawn again fairly recently. Um, I pulled a lot of those fry. There's still some around in here. But, uh, yeah, same old story. She's been <clears throat> nipping at him quite a bit lately. Uh, over here, <clears throat> here's where I put the uh, loaches for now, um, is my male Moda, Rio Blanco. Uh, yeah, Rio Blanco. Um, he's not too happy with them in the tank, so I'm probably gonna try to figure something else out with the loaches, but for now, I don't know, there's about 15 of them. Most of them are hiding over behind that pot right now but you can see four or five of them over here <clears throat> he's like I had this tank all to myself other than the Pleco and now you threw in 15 loaches and he's not happy about it so I'm gonna do some moving around we'll see what happens <clears throat> down below here is one of the Hadiensis pairs um, they lately have really been seeming like they're gonna about to spawn again but they haven't They've been hanging out a lot over in this corner together and just showing signs of kind of pre-spawn. She's gotten a lot darker, so I'm assuming it's going to happen here pretty soon, but we'll just have to wait and see. <clears throat> and the other Hadiensis pair right here. They had a recent spawn. I can't remember if it was before the last video or not, but... Um, they spawned right on this rock here where the Pleco is now, and uh, they ended up eating either the eggs or the fry when they were still wigglers. Then the Redis Latus. Um, if you're part of aquatic support community, you saw that I posted a video of them looking like they're ready to spawn the other day with her tube down. <clears throat> Still down a little bit, but not as much. They never spawned, which uh, is fairly common with them. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what happens, but they get ready to, and then it just doesn't happen. But I still love this pair. They're just really fun. Um, they haven't been fed yet today, so we'll uh, do a little large cichlid here. They may not eat. They're kind of acting weird. <clears throat> I won't bother feeding them on video. in just to see. Yeah, I'm ready to eat, I guess. <laughs> they love that stuff. So 
So that was the uh, Southern Illinois at Large Cichlid. Uh, over here is this guy. He's still doing great. Can't complain about him at all. This is the flower horn. It's a red magma. Here to my channel. Down here, I've got some Trimax, about six or eight of them, that I got from my buddy James Randall just this week. They're still a little skittish and shy. <clears throat> New environment and everything like that. Plus, they're down on floor level. But there's some decent sized ones in here. From what I understand, too, they are from the same bloodline that Titan came from, which was uh, a Trimac that was just a beautiful beast that Mike Mann had way back in the day. So, we'll see what happens out of those. I'll do a separate shrimp tank update, but you can see the shrimp tanks are still rolling. The lights aren't on on those eight over there, but you know, it's all good. Um, yeah, what else? I guess that's really about it right now. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, feed the flower horn too. He hasn't eaten it today. I feed him um, large cichlid by Southern Delight, as well as these guys and the umbies over there. This latest. He loves the stuff. Eat these guys too well, we're at it. But yeah, that's really all I've got right now. Um, I want to thank everybody that subscribes to my channel and watches these videos. Uh, we're getting close to 11,000 now, and that's pretty cool. Um, I really appreciate it, and it's been fun interacting with you guys over the years. And I'm continuing to just do this. I uh, like doing the YouTube thing, um, and uh, we'll just see where it goes. Um, I want to remind everybody too that I do sell Southern Delight fish food and if you're looking for some, um, make sure that you uh, hit me up. My email address will be below and uh, I can get your prices and work something out as far as shipping and everything goes like that. But I sell it in bulk and bottles. So I got you covered every which way. <clears throat> you can see the fish in my fish room love it and uh, quality speaks for itself. Um, but yeah, um, do me a favor, share this video, uh, click that like button, make sure that you comment, let me know that you're watching, and until next time, later.